Hello. Welcome to the Wellness Minute, where we give you information to put health in your hands. I'm your host, Dr. Rebecca Pilly. On today's episode, we're going to talk about breast cancer awareness. Breast cancer is a disease that affects over 250,000 people in the United States alone. Today we have two guests, acupuncturist Dr. Hunter Thompson and later naturopathic physician Dr. Amina Keats. They'll both be talking to you about how natural therapies can help in the treatment of breast cancer. Welcome back to the Wellness Minute, Dr. Thompson. Thank you, Dr. Pillay. I'd like to start out by um, asking you as an acupuncture what your role would be in the treatment of breast cancer. Well, that's a very good question. So acupuncture is a very holistic modality. So we're not really treating breast cancer per se, we're treating people who have been diagnosed with breast cancer to really have them have the best um, quality of life and uh, the least num amount of side effects that they might have from the treatment that they're having for the breast cancer itself. So you're really treating the whole person, Absolutely, not just the disease. Yes. Then, so that's, that's on a physical level. It's also on an emotional level because there's a lot of emotion involved in having that kind of diagnosis, any, any cancer diagnosis. So the stress, emotional stress? Yes, yeah. definitely to you know, help the person remain calm and be able to go through the treatment with a positive attitude and a certain calmness as they move through their days. That sounds really helpful in, in such a situation. Uh, how does acupuncture help with the side effects of other types of treatment like chemotherapy? Well, acupuncture um, has been shown through uh, work such as uh, some research at Johns Hopkins University to reduce the nausea that comes from chemotherapy and the vomiting. Um, it also helps with the fatigue because oftentimes a person who's undergoing chemotherapy gets fatigued very easily. And it allows the person to ha have some more access to the energy that their body needs to heal. Um, at the same time, you know, there is uh, the ability to reduce pain that does occur, you know, because any, any type of treatment like that can create some degree of pain as the person's going through it. Okay. And are there any side effects that the patient would feel from the acupuncture itself? Generally speaking, no, there are no side effects from acupuncture. What may occur is sometimes right after a treatment, which I don't really consider a side effect, but the person may be very calm and somewhat tired because again, we're doing a lot of work to move their energy to help their body heal. And so oftentimes the person gets up off the table having had a treatment and is kind of, you know, ready to go home and rest. Okay, so for someone who hasn't been to an acupuncturist before, could you describe what a first visit might look like with you? Of course, so the person would come in and I would do an interview to find out not only what the specific main complaint is that they're coming for, which might in this case be breast cancer, you know, and, and some support there. Um, I would also find out their health history, so a longer, pic uh, longer picture than just their immediate concerns. Um, any other situations they might um, be experiencing in their life that's contributing to stress or other factors that they might need some support with. Um, after that, I would do a specific physical exam, which consists of reading their pulses, which are, you know, on, I read on both wrists because I'm reading an energetic pulse, not just the blood pulse, uh, looking at their tongue to see that because the tongue just kind of like in, um, you know, where you look at reflexology, where the entire body can be shown in the bottom of the foot, the tongue also reflects the entire body. So it gives me a sense of what's going on internally with the person because now you have to remember that acupuncture doesn't have all of the tests that Western medicine does. So we don't have things like x-rays or MRIs, and so we do our diagnosis based on these things, the pulse, the tongue, the person's physical appearance, do some palpation of the abdomen to see if there's anything that we notice in terms of their energy being blocked in any particular areas. Um, and then I would uh, create a treatment and go ahead and do the first treatment with the acupuncture needles. Okay, so when I'm listening to you describe that first um, meeting with you, it really does focus on the whole person. Yes, absolutely. I mean, that 
really is the intention of acupuncture is it's the whole person, it's not just one thing that they're coming in for. Okay, wonderful. Well, can you give any tips right now to people who are dealing with breast cancer regarding acupuncture? Well, I would definitely say that you know, you would want to start acupuncture treatment um, as soon as possible. I, I just have treated quite a number of people who have been diagnosed with cancer, and they find that just even the calmness that allows them to deal with the diagnosis is very important. And um, that's one of the best effects that acupuncture has is allowing that stress level to diminish because generally speaking, the person has stress, their family has stress, and worry, and concern about them. Um, and then, of course, as they're going through treatment, whether it is chemotherapy or radiation, you know, that will help to mitigate any of those side effects. Wow. Well, that sounds like a wonderful natural treatment for, for people to add into their recovery from cancer, breast cancer specifically today. So, Dr. Thompson, I want to thank you for joining us and giving your perspective from an acupuncturist's point of view. We're going to take a break right now, and when we come back, we'll have Dr. Amina Keats talk about naturopathic medicine and breast cancer. I was first diagnosed November the 4th of 2016. When I first heard the news, I was very scared, um, devastated, thought that immediately that it meant death. For initial treatment, it was recommended that I have a lumpectomy and radiation. And I started to uh, research and investigate my options and decided um, after some twists and turns that I was gonna have a mastectomy with reconstruction um, to avoid radiation. And I was assured at that time that no chemo would be needed, but that soon changed. After researching and finding out the side effects of different conventional treatments and also what was available holistically with the support of a naturopath, um, change of diet and meditation, all these different things that you could incorporate to strengthen your immune system, which to me was the key to fighting cancer and never having it again. Um, I decided to opt for a completely holistic, naturopathic, integrative approach. Everything that I did for treatment was based on um, naturopathic care, holistic care. So the only integrative thing I think I probably did was the surgery because integrative means you're working alongside conventional doctors. So I think that was the only thing that I opted to do was the surgery integratively. Everything else treatment wise has been naturopathic, holistic. Um, it's, I've taken a completely mind, body, spirit, nutritional approach to my treatment. For me, I think the biggest benefit of seeking out integrative treatment um, and naturopathic treatment has been the peace of mind that you receive because it's such a scary diagnosis and a scary disease and I feel that integrative, the integrative approach to my treatment and the holistic approach has equipped me to um, strengthen my mind and my body. Um, your mind has a huge effect over your health and your body and once you're able to calm yourself and uh, strengthen your immune system and you know that there's so much that you can do to actually help yourself, um, you feel a sense of control in a situation where you have no control and you know that it's basically taken away from you. So I think that overall, holistically, integrative treatment um, and holistic treatment has strengthened me, um, mind and body, at like every part of me. Welcome back to the Wellness Minute. Before the break, we talked about acupuncture and how it can support breast cancer treatment. Now we have Dr. Amina Keats, who's going to talk to us about naturopathic remedies that can be used to treat breast cancer. 
Dr. Keats, welcome back to the Wellness Minute. Thank you. Can you describe to us uh, the difference between naturopathic care and conventional medical care? Sure, so when it comes to conventional medical care for breast cancer, there are a number of different modalities that are available based on the stage of disease, based on the aggressiveness of the disease, based on hormonal status, and a number of other factors. And so those modalities include things like surgery, whether it be a lumpectomy or mastectomy, certain chemotherapy agents, hormonal uh, medications, targeted therapies, things like that. When it comes to naturopathic oncology, which is an established field underneath this general naturopathic umbrella, what we use are natural modalities to support patients while they're undergoing these conventional treatments so that they can walk away with an integrative plan of care. And so those modalities include nutrition, which I see as the, the foundation because getting the adequate nutrition is going to be important when you're fighting breast cancer or, or any other kind of chronic disease. Um, botanical medicine or herbal medicine is something that we use. Supplementation in the form of vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, essential fatty acids, homeopathics, and then there's lifestyle counsel counseling as well. Okay. Could you talk a little bit more about homeopathic remedies that you might use? Sure. So in my practice, I use homeopathic remedies primarily for post-operative kind of support. Um, I like to use homeopathic arnica, which is one of the more common remedies uh, most of the time for patients that are coming out of any kind of surgical procedure. And the, the idea, the goal of that particular remedy is to help to support any tissue healing to decrease pain and inflammation following any kind of surgical procedure. The nice thing about homeopathics as well is that it's, uh, it's, it's safe to do with any kind of pain medication following surgery. And then also, um, it doesn't require food on your stomach because after surgery, sometimes you know it's, it, it takes time for patients to start to tolerate solid foods again. So a lot of uh, nice benefits to using the homeopathics. Okay, very good, Dr. Keats. At the top of the show, I mentioned that um, 250,000 people in the United States alone have breast cancer. I was surprised to learn that some of those people are men. Could you talk a little bit about that? Sure, so the occurrence of breast cancer in men is much lower compared to women, is, and that's why we don't hear a lot about it. And so uh, according to statistics, breast cancer is 100 times less common in men compared to women. Um, it's diagnosed later um, only because men tend not to run to, to get it investigated if there is a lump, or sometimes it's hard to actually palpate a lump in the breast tissue of men just because it's so different compared to women. However, the diagnosis and the treatment is, is the same. Okay, thank you. Could you describe a little bit about how um, naturopathic medicine supports men and women with breast cancer? Sure, sure. So the, the bigger picture when it comes to naturopathic medicine and cancer care is that we want to make the internal environment or the, the cellular environment inhospitable to any kind of cancer cell growth. Um, and so the purpose of that is to reduce any risk of metastatic disease or growth of the, the, the breast cancer cells and also to prevent recurrent disease or, or the breast cancer coming back when patients reach remission. So we do that through a number of different mechanisms. So um, most commonly helping to reduce inflammation, helping to reduce oxidative stress, and then establishing hormonal control, especially when it comes to estrogen, insulin, cortisol, and a, a number of other hormones. The more focused kind of um, goals that, that we like to follow is to help to reduce any side effects associated with treatment because we want to maintain optimal quality of life while patients are undergoing conventional care. Immune support is going to be very important. Of course, we want to beef up the immune system so that the, the patient is able to, to fight the cancer. Um, cancer fighting uh, support is going to be Im important in terms of uh, different nutrients that are provided and lifestyle kind of recommendations that are made helping to support speedy recovery following any kind of surgical procedures. And then of course, when a patient reaches that remission point, as I mentioned, prevention is going to be key. Wow, Dr. Keats. Yes. 
Can you give us any tips for folks out there that might have, be dealing with side effects from the breast cancer treatment? Sure, so there are a lot of things under the naturopathic umbrella that we use to address side effects. And of course, it depends on which side effect we're addressing. And so when it comes to breast cancer, I would say the most common side effects that I see are hot flashes and night sweats, anxiety, and peripheral neuropathy. And so when it comes to hot flashes and night sweats, magnesium can be therapeutic and also a standardized extract of black cohosh. So these are, are I would say, my go-tos with that particular side effect. A uh, uh, nice thing about those two as well is that they help to reduce anxiety. When it comes to uh, peripheral neuropathy, which is a common side effect with Taxol and Taxotere chemotherapies, certain B vitamins, things like alpha lipoic acid and lion's mane, which is a mushroom, can help to reduce any kind of nerve damage and can, and can help to um, uh, reduce that side effect. Um, anxiety, uh, again, magnesium can be used to reduce anxiety. Epsom salt baths can be used to reduce anxiety. The, the salts from the Epsom salt actually contain magnesium, so they help to relax the nervous system. A supplement that I like to use for anxiety is L-theanine, which is extracted from green tea. And what it does is it helps to increase the release of GABA, which is a neurotransmitter, which leads to more relaxation. Mm. So, so much of what I'm hearing you talk about is like reaching into the garden for medicine. Absolutely, absolutely. There's, there's definitely a lot of things that we can do safely along with the conventional treatment. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Keats, for coming in today and sharing the naturopathic perspective for the treatment of um, breast cancer. Next month, we'll be discussing diabetes and natural remedies that can help treat, prevent, and support the disease. We'll see you next time.